you haven't been to an antique store for a while and maybe you don't know the appeal, I'm gonna show you why you should stop back and check them out. more things to drop off and I wanted to stop in and spruce everything up before the weekend. Today is Thursday. This original table sold so I was able to bring this one in. I filled it with more glass because I think that's really pretty with the marble. I'm really happy to get the bird cage in. I hope that draws a lot of attention and then I wanted to mark down a few items especially the bushel baskets because it's getting towards the end of fall. One of the other big reasons I wanted to stop by is that I can actually show you another booth. Okay, many of you remember Matt and Kristen from my move-in video. This is actually their booth. Their booth is Grassroots Market, and you can find them on Facebook and Instagram. Here is what they have in their booth. One of the things you're going to notice right away about this booth is the variety of things that they have. Starting off here, we have a beautiful ladder display. The ladder itself is for sale. This basket wall is usually full, but I think one of them sold. And here you have a huge shelving unit in the back that's full and the display on the table in the front. We are gonna take a closer look at those shelves. As we move over, you have a beautiful painting here. This is an oil painting on top of a dresser that they actually refinished. It is navy blue with gold finishings and it looks perfect in this room next to an antique rocker with all of these smaller things on the wall. On this side, we have another shelf with some more modern items, that stained glass window, more baskets on the wall, very boho. And then we have this desk, which is gorgeous. In the middle, there's some more rustic items mixed in with some metals that you see there. And overall, the aesthetic just looks so cool. Taking a closer look, we see all of the different things that are really displayed on these shelves. And one of the things you're gonna notice right away is just how many different textures there are here. And they all mix together, <laughs> there I am in the mirror, they all mix together perfectly. There's a chance that that's the basket that should be on the wall, but here's a picture of what that wall should look like. And then here we have the arrows. That faux brick was actually there before they moved in, and it looks perfect. Moving to the shelves, the variety of items, the different heights, and then again, the different textures. And you almost have to walk each direction to see everything. I love that wooden vase, that like turned wooden vase, and roosters, everyone loves roosters. There's also a great mix of modern items and some thrift finds. Those vases, and you see that candle holder there, already getting a tree in there for Christmas, that glass vase and the bird. A lot of these are natural tones, so to have that landscape picture and the greenery mixed in, the brass candlesticks there are beautiful transitions right into that old Bible. The ceramic cream and sugar set is perfect in here. And then another wooden vase, the white pitcher. And the set of dishes actually works perfectly right there. All of the colors. 
I love the color of that vintage design. And then we have the owls and a couple lanterns. And then that glass bowl mixed in. It just brings everything together and looks really classic. I didn't notice when I was there just how many candlestick holders are there. And I'm not quite sure what this is, but it is made of like marble. Very cool. Moving on, we have a cookie jar and some cutting boards. Love the pops of green in there. This booth does have really neat windows. So you see the window displays there. You have that dress form. Then we move over to the dresser. There's that oil painting. That's such a good statement piece. The lamp frames it really well. You have that metal basket, real basket. And then here's a closer look at the dresser. They did such a good job refinishing this. The top is that sealed natural wood tone. And then I love the gold finishes on top of that navy blue. It just works so well. And it fits with the aesthetic of their room perfectly. On the wall, you have some baskets and some paintings. Then you have this vintage rocker, which is kind of softened up by that pillow. It really draws your attention and you can see how that would fit in your room. You have the sconces here and that metal kind of draws your eye over. And then you have more wicker baskets. This hammered pewter ice bucket is really neat. And then this is the perfect spot for that typewriter. That shelf is great for all of these wooden items. We have wooden bowls and spools and there is a glass vase hiding in the back there. It is neat how everything just fits in its spot. As you're looking, you really see what you want to find. This milk jug was really neat. That got my attention. And then filled up with that wicker basket. And then a few signs on the wall. You can see how these would really fit in your house. We have a metal spoon and fork. And then the window is perfect for this stained glass. I love that the basket comes through there and the baskets really draw through. If you're looking for them, that's a great place to find what you're actually wanting. And then on the desk, we have a few decorations, but not many. It really helps you see the beauty of that wood and that vintage piece of furniture. Still have the original felt inside the drawer. And I'm not sure if they refinished this bench or not, but it looks really pretty. I love the white with the wood. And again, with the texture. Here we have a few metal pieces, a metal shelf, and that windmill, and another mirror. In the middle, we have a big wood stump. This is a solid piece of wood. They added some feet to it. And then we have this really interesting table that holds a lot of different things. I love the material of the table. I'm pretty sure they made this. Then we have the brass candle holder. These little wreaths got my attention. I love how they incorporate the different pieces of glass and then these pearl dishes. Those were really neat. It just added another layer of texture and interest. The picnic basket is really cool and I loved this flower painting. Here we draw in a few different colors with the green and the ceramic. It's fall, so it's a perfect time for the leaf. The teapot was really cool. A few more wood dishes. Really cool silver rooster that's really neat. Then we have a few pieces of milk glass on that left side. These were some really heavy pieces and that table is made of a big spool, so it worked out really well. Love the glass mixed in. And of course I had to go take a closer look at that scale. That little greenhouse with a plant is neat. And then on this table, their sign there, the pumpkins for fall, some ceramic on that small step stool. It looks perfect. We have the pumpkins and the leaf, the table is a great display piece in the room. Then we have a few pieces of glass that are stacked. That crock is really cool. That's a nice vintage piece. There's some hand carved wood and more ceramics. It's really neat to have all of these pieces together, but it's still really natural with the colors. And a little more wicker. 
They definitely like some baskets, wood rolling pins, here with the white glass. It really, the different things really draw your eye through it. I loved this mug. It was a really neat ceramic mug. And overall, the room just has a really good feel. You can tell that if you enjoy it when you walk in, you're gonna be able to buy a few of those pieces and really bring that back to your house so that you can warm up your space to get the same feel. So easy to just buy new things and decorate around your house. Sometimes when you're looking for that added touch, it just comes from getting something that's vintage, and this is a great place to find it. Hopefully you enjoyed this tour of the Grassroots Market. If you want to see more tours of other booths, let me know in the comments. And if you wanna see updates on what sold this month and how things are going, let me know, because I'll be sure to make a video so that you can see everything that people want. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you next time.